Trinity, come shout O.T. on Trinity. Allison, thank you so much for joining us on the show, and we like to start every show with a cheers, so thank you so much. Thank you. And let's get started. Mm -hmm. Trinity. Your teaching and research credentials, particularly in the field of chemistry, are nothing short of astounding. What drew you to chemistry? Um, so I, I switched when I was in college. I was an English major in my first year, um, thinking that I would go into secondary education. Um, and I took a chemistry class as a distribution requirement. Um, and I just liked the fact there were answers. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the sort of black and white nature of it really right. appealed to my teenage self. Yeah. Um, and so that's what kind of started me on science. And what attracted you to English initially? You just... I was just good at it. Yeah? Yeah. Liked it in high school. And now you are amazing in chemistry. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Here's a list of councils and committees um, that you've served on at Trinity uh, since 2003. And when was the last time you've taken a vacation? Um, that's a great question. Um, yeah, I don't do vacation very well. Okay. Um, yeah, I, but I really like being involved and, and like seeing how the college works and uh -huh. being involved in, in all sorts of corners of it. So yeah, that's, that's been one of my favorite things about being here. You are the recipient of a National Science Foundation grant, which congratulations. Thank you. Um, this has been, enabled you to continue science courses throughout the summer at Trinity. What's unique about this summer program that you're able to teach? Yeah, so um, the summer program is for the students at the HMTCA, the Hartford Magnet Trinity College Academy. That's the high school that Trinity has partnered with the Hartford Public Schools to, to build. Um, their rising sophomores are required to take a two-week science um, course in the summer um, that we house here at Trinity. Um, and so we've been doing that for four years. Um, and what the NSF grant has allowed us to do is to hire undergraduates who are interested in a teaching career to come here to Trinity for the summer and teach the high school students. So we're teaching the college students how to teach science and they're in turn turning around and teaching the high school students. Um, and so we've partnered with 61 liberal arts colleges around the country to do it. Cool. Um, so we have students coming from Grinnell, from Whitman College, um, from really all over the country who yeah. are you know, planning a career in secondary science education. What is your favorite thing about teaching at Trinity? Um, teaching at Trinity. So I teach a lot of really different kinds of things. Um, so primarily I teach the interdisciplinary science program. Um, and those are students who are really eager, they're well prepared, they're interested in science. Um, so that's, and they're first year <coughs> students. So that's my one end of the spectrum. Yeah. My other favorite course is my toxicology non-majors course. Okay. So these are, I have 34 seniors who need a senior okay. in the course this semester <laughs> to graduate. Um, and so it's like the total other end of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, they have avoided science um, successfully until now. Um, I'm a little guilty of that as well. <laughs> so you might consider toxicology next Perfect. Year. Um, and um, so, but I like the challenge of kind of winning them over, seeing that science is useful and brings information that's useful in their life and, yeah. um, and that it's not so hard and it can be really interesting. And, you know, so, so yeah, so I, I like the diversity of, of my job. I understand that you own a farm. Yes. Are we talking about cows and chickens here or more <laughs> vegetables and flowers? Um, none of the above. None of the above. Um, okay, what kind of farm? We're talking about land conservation. Um, okay. So we own a lot of land. It could be a farm if you ever wanted to farm it. Um, okay. We farm rocks most effectively. Um, it's a very rocky area of Massachusetts. How do you um, farm rocks? No, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah. farm rocks. Um, so we, um, we cut hay, um, okay. and that's our major farming. Um, but mostly we bought it because we were interested in conserving the land. Okay. Um, so we have a lot of land, and it's all forested. There are 40 acres in fields, mm -hmm. um, and so mostly it's just a place for wildlife. So we've got a photo of you from your childhood days, yeah. and let's get that up there. If you met this child today, how would you describe her? Um, Well-behaved. Well-behaved. Um, curious. Okay. Um, and shy. Okay. Yeah. Are you still well-behaved, curious, and shy? I am. Okay. That's so interesting. <laughs> I've never been that yeah. yeah. Very cool. So, I guess maybe we stay the same. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, that's really I'm curious. I'm a child still. Yeah. That's, I'm going to call you about that tonight. Yeah. Um, we know that you're a vegan. Mm-hmm. As a vegan, I guess this means you don't eat much pizza, one of the fundamental food groups <laughs> no. that is in my diet here neath the Elms. Um, what are your top three favorite foods? 
Hummus. Hummus. Hummus makes everything better. Hummus makes everything better. Yep. yep. Hummus is number one. Do you do you have two others? One your favorite is hummus. Yeah, and then salads and soups. Salads and soups. Lots of vegetables. Yeah. Lots of vegetables. Do you ever do you ever miss cheese? Were you always no. vegan? No, I've I've been vegan for two years. Okay. Uh, what what led the the shift? Uh, health concerns. Health concerns. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, and are you loving this vegan lifestyle thing? Yeah, yeah. Um, since we're doing it for health reasons, uh -huh. like the occasional piece of pizza isn't like I, I don't have a moral problem right. with animal products. Yeah. So it's just like for health reasons, I want to stay away from them. Cool. Um, so yeah. We learned through a source that you are a former Sweet Adeline's Barbershop Harmony gold medalist. I am. Can you give us a little sample of what we've been missing out on? No. Okay. Um, because Barbershop Harmony is four parts, right? Okay. Um, so so I couldn't do a solo and Got give it. you any indication of what it sounds like. Okay. Um, but you sing a cappella, right? I do. Um, so most a cappella, most singing is based on a triad. Right. Do, do, do. Right? Yeah. Three notes. Barbershop is built on four. Do, right. Do, do, do. So it oh. adds the seventh. Okay, got um, it. So all the chords have a seventh in them. Okay. Um, and so that changes, totally changes the sound yeah. of the music. And now it's a time for the part of the show where we play pick two. So <laughs> this is when we name two things and you tell us which one is more you. Okay. It'll, it'll make sense when we start. Okay. Lab or classroom? Classroom. Whole Foods or Trader Joe's? Whole Foods. Whole Foods. You, what, no enthusiasm for No enthusiasm for yeah. user? Yeah. Either Farmer's for Market. Either. Farmer's Market. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Netflix or HBO? Netflix. Red Sox or Yankees? Red Sox. Yeah. Sox fans. Sorry, yeah. Ne well, I'm Mets, so it's all oh, good. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson yes. or Bill Nye? <laughs> Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> Adele or Nora Jones? I don't know either one of them. Oh, come on. You don't know either <laughs> one of them? I don't. You don't know Adele? No, I'm completely, completely out of this. Okay, scene. while yeah. you're in this hiatus, I strongly <laughs> urge you to listen yeah. to some Adele. Um, broccoli or cauliflower? Broccoli. Broccoli, okay. Europe or the Bahamas? Neither. Neither where? Latin where? America. Latin America. Where? In, do you have a place in particular? No. Just Latin America? Yeah. Yeah. Mather or the Bistro? Mather. Mm. Cool. I feel that. Mm. <laughs> Allison, it's been a pleasure chatting with you over some tea today. Thanks so much for joining us, and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Trinity, Trinity, come chat over tea on Trinity. Today's episode of Trinity was brought to you by First and Last Bakery down on Maple Ave in Hartford.